Today we're going to take a look at the titling software called Blue Titler Pro for all your videos next on Geekazine. As you've been seeing on my videos, I've been doing some more extensive titles, like for instance, the intro title, my lower third, and of course the uh, the socials title that's right here, um, and a bunch more titles. It's through a program called Titler Pro, uh, by put out by New Blue FX. It's over at uh, newbluefx.com. This is the website right here, and basically what it does is uh, dynamic 3D titlers, as, as it says. Uh, you can do different stuff. Let's so let's scroll down here. You can create designs. You've got designs that you can just create right away. Uh, if you need a quick lower third, but if you want to do something a little bit more, um, you can you can do it. Uh, and I'm going to show you a few of these. Let me show you an example here. I use Sony Vegas for my video editing, but I also use Adobe uh, Premiere Pro, um, especially when I have to move over to my Mac because Vegas is only on uh, PC. Blue Titler Pro works on PC and Mac, so if you, either way, it doesn't really matter, you can uh, go ahead and use it. And of course, uh, I use a program called Wirecast, which they do have a uh, version of Blue Titler Pro, which lets you uh, use it inside of Wirecast as well. Uh, but in, for the most part, all these titles are happening uh, in post-production through Vegas here. So I have my Vegas set up, as you can see. There's the last video I just did. Now let me show you my lower third here. I, I just put that in there, so I'm going to hit play. And as you can see, there's my lower third with Geekazine. Pops in, pops out. Pretty straightforward. How do we do that? Well, simply, up in the uh, media generators, in this case, we say, hey, blue, new blue Titler Pro for uh, OpenFX. You click on that, and of course, you come up to the presets. You can create a couple presets. I got the default preset which we're going to bring right down into my timeline here. That brings up the quick edit box in where I can choose any of the titles. Now, uh, as you can see, there's my default, the, f the first one I ever created when I created this, uh, this device. But uh, I'm, I'm going to, you can go through different ones. They've got uh, some simple titles here, which you can put in your first name, last name. And I use a couple of these. So this is the one I use for wearable today which is a really nice one, and, uh, and you can actually definitely bring it in. But I'm gonna, I've created one already uh, that I started. We're gonna add to it and go from there. So basically that's gonna say the geek, and then it's gonna come down. But we wanna go and we're gonna design it a little bit. So we're gonna go to the title designer, and that's gonna bring up this window right here, which is the title designer. As you can see, if you've done any type of editing before, you've seen this this type of timeline editing with keyframes and stuff like that. So basically, I brought in the geek, comes in, comes out. Simple as that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a picture right here, and I'm going to have it slide in and slide out, and I'm going to do some stuff to it. And we're going to choose Add Shape, and we're going to say Rectangle. A simple rectangle. Um, I'm going to bring that above the geek, and then I'm going just basically going to move it over here right on the timeline frame. Now, really quick, you have your object, you have your style, you have your effects, and you have your transitions. Uh, if you do any text, you've got all your text stuff up here. And of course, you can import, uh, import, save, and, and bring other stuff into the library. Um, the geek came from a PSD file. I just said import PSD file. I went to my, uh, my Photoshop stuff. And then I just basically said, hey, bring in this PSD, and which it, it did, and of course, here it is. Now I think about it, I'm going to actually bring the rectangle underneath, because I want to have the geek over the rectangle here. Here I have uh, the rectangle, which I can actually, I can change the position right here, X and Y. We can uh, do the scale. Uh, of course, I have that unlocked. I can lock that down so it'll scale. I can do some skewing. I can do some radiuses. We can, here's a skew right here. We're not going to do that uh, radius. But the cool thing about this is I can go over to the style and I can say, hey, this rectangle is a image other than a color or a gradient. So we're going to choose image. Got a picture ready right here. So now I've got my picture. So basically when the time frame runs, it'll bring that in. But of course, it's pretty static at this point. What I want to do is I want to I want to move this around because it's always uh, cool to have something movable. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the object. We're going to say, hey, let's turn on the keyframing. 
and we want the smooth interpolation. Oh yeah, smooth interpolation. We're gonna go to the dot and we're gonna take that dot and we're going to move it. And I'm gonna just move it off center. And so, but basically it's still pretty static. So I'm gonna take this rectangle and I'm now gonna move it off screen. Pretty straightforward. So now with my timeline, there. I just uh, set it up so it will move onto screen like that. There is the geek. Boom, like that. And of course, I can go over here and I can say uh, create another keyframe. We'll uh, do it right there. Uh, we'll create another keyframe, as you can see. And I can then move it off screen like that. So now, boom, the geek. And off. And of course, I can save that. We'll say that. We'll say apply to the template. So now when I go to hit play here, there it is, the geek. Boom, just like that, pretty straightforward. Now I can go in, I'm, I can do a little bit more here because there's a lot more I can do with this, uh, with this thing. As you can see, there's no text lines or anything like that. So I can go to title designer and I can say, hey, I want to add a quick paragraph here. I'll enter, oops, first of all, I'll bring it down here. And I'll, uh, let's see, we'll, we'll just, we could do a straight aerial or we could go through many of the different, uh, different text styles. We'll do that and we'll bring it down to a 14. Whoops. Of course you can do partial text or all text and go from there. So we'll go down and we'll do that all 14. And we'll bring that down here. And now when uh, when people do text, uh, you basically, I'll, I'll show this to you in a second. But, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to bring it in, we're going to bring it out. So I'm going to add keyframes here. Create the keyframe right there for that. And then we're going to go back to this keyframe right here, faded in opacity wise. So now it'll say enter text and, and the, you'll enter the text a little bit later and I'll show you that. So I'll bring it out and of course I'll add the keyframe right here and then we'll fade it out right about here. And I had to go back in, I had to make a little change so I added a little bit of slide in here. So as you can see there it is, the Geek Jeffrey Powers. So now I'm going to X out of this, it's going to render and we're going to take a look at it once again. There you go. The Geek Jeffrey Powers. Slides in, slides out, and of course on the timeline, I can move this to wherever I want to. Um, so if I am uh, using this as a template, then I can bring this in, bring this back out, and go from there. So let's say I want to add some style to my, uh, to my text here. As you can see, the excursion then uh, kind of goes like this. So we'll just bring it out a little bit, make it look a little 3D-ish can even uh, change the bevel so if you just uh, play with these a little bit and go and you can uh, you can go from there another thing you can do is over here you can do the adjustments right on screen I can move it around or I can change the text or if I uh, this is the rotate up here this is the 3d option so if I go like that you'll see a little circle and if I move within the circle it takes a little bit of getting used to you can get this to work a little better let's do that we won't do too much because we want to uh, we want to bring that in and then of course and of course I can play with the movement but we're we're just doing a basic movement right here so now that I have this I can uh, I can I can change the style I can do the effects and transitions so style settings we can uh, go to one of these and we can uh, change the environments we can we can add effects to it uh, if we want to do a screen or if we want to do a color burn as you can see that switches that we're going to stick with added uh, our normal and if there's any transitions we can uh, uh, add for there but we're just going to leave that at that we're going to go to the scene here because now we could add some lighting to the uh, to the scene say we may even want to do a, a pre-lit thing here so let's just do a flashlight really quick so as you can see there it is the flashlight it's not doing much because I haven't haven't really adjusted it there's the uh there's the little flashlight right there so this is light two that's doing that so as you can see we've got just a little flash on the top here we could bring that down a little bit there we go so now look at that so we'll bring a light in and then we'll close that up we'll apply that to template now 
when we do this, we'll bring this over. There, we have a nice little lower third with a picture on it. And some other lower thirds I've done. This is the, uh, let's, uh, let's bring this one in. And uh, I've done what's, uh, I do my geek socials. And so basically that's this one right here where I have four, and I'll show you the title design here. I took four images and put them onto rectangles. And those four images are my Twitter handle, my Facebook, my Instagram, and my YouTube. So it's an easy way for you to put your socials on there. We're gonna discard the changes because we didn't make any changes. Hit the play here. There's my socials. It's all good. And uh, we've, got, we've got some socials in here. And of course you can add more. Uh, you can create boxes like I have little information boxes that pop up like right there, um, which uh, give you uh, more information. You can play with that. It's all timeline based, so you can, uh, you can put in keyframes and have some fun with it. It's really up to your imagination. And these are just lower thirds. I mean, you can do a lot more with this. You can actually create whole intro titles and outro titles um, with your logos in them and just have some fun with it. Once again, it's called Titler Pro 4 and it's by New Blue FX. And you can get that over there and uh, go from there. It's no affiliated code or anything like that. Um, they, uh, they did give me the software for me to review, but the opinions are my own. Uh, there are, so, just so you know, the pros and cons. You know, it is a timeline program. There are some bits and pieces that get a little bit frustrating at times. But, you know, make sure you have good backups. You can save anything as their own titles or you can save them as a group. So you can uh, go back to a back point if you get way far out of tune um, and then go from there. Uh, if you don't use Adobe, this is perfect because this is for some of these other uh, programs such as Sony Vegas to let you put titles into and create some more graphics for your uh, videos. So Jeffrey Powers here. You can find me over at Geekazine. Of course, all the socials happening right here. Uh, Geekazine.com, Think Magazine, Put in a Geek. Till next time, you guys geek out and let me know what you're doing with your Blue Title or Pro. Uh, if you use it a lot, uh, what you like about it, what you don't like about it, and go from there. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time, you guys. Geek out.